what's up everyone welcome to the channel um headed to the airport because i have training this weekend um it's only a one day event so it's gonna be a quick drill uh basically all i'm doing is flying down there and we're taking our the biggest thing we're doing is hitting our annual physical fitness test uh which will basically um, allow us to still enjoy the perks and benefits that you get while being in the Florida Army National Guard. So if you were to fail your fitness test, you'd get flagged and then you'd have to take the monthly APFT until you finished it and passed it two times in a row, I believe, or it might even be three. I'm not sure. But so I'm headed to the airport now. I'll get in there to Orlando around 11 p.m. tonight. Our uh, first formation is around like 5 a.m. And then we just got a whole day of uh, knocking out the PT test. And then we have to uh, finish up our promotion packets as well. So super excited about that. And uh, yeah, short drill. Can't complain about that. But uh, also I want to talk to you all about how I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from YouTube. Um, that's because I have a surgery coming up on the 5th of December. I'm getting my tonsils and my adenoids out and then they're doing like a thing called like a turbinite reduction so i mean if you guys watch my videos it probably sounds like i'm nasally and congested all the time and that's because uh my tonsils and my adenoids and my turbinites are always inflamed so i have like a tough time breathing that's why i got that old man cpap machine even though i'm in really good shape and uh it's usually for people that are overweight and uh out of shape so there has been studies that show that doing the surgery um, does help with the sleep apnea. So hopefully that works out. If not, whatever, I got my CPAP machine. Uh, I don't know if y'all have had this surgery, but if you have had your tonsils out, adenoids or turbinite reduction, uh, let me know your experience down below because I'm like super nervous about it. Um, I hate surgeries. I hate the fact that they're going to put me out. I hate that I don't have control over those things. Um, a lot of people don't like when they don't have control. So. Uh, just let me know if you have any recipes or stuff I should eat for the first three days. But as of right now, I'm just going to be on like an all protein shake diet. Uh, he said I could have eggs, so I'll be doing some eggs here and there. I can't work out for 10 days, but we'll see about that. I'll, I'll probably try and push it to seven, maybe seven days. He said I could walk though. So good thing is I can go downstairs, have a treadmill. I can go for like a 30 or 45 minute walk, which is nice. So I'll still be able to keep up with some type of uh, caloric expenditure. Um, I don't have to fully worry about um, gaining weight because I'm going to be only having shakes anyway. So I'm not going to be getting like the full calories in my day. It's gonna, I'm going to be on a calorie deficit as it is. So uh, super excited, uh, not for the surgery itself, but super excited to see if this actually helps me out. Uh, and that's what the doctor told me. He said that a majority of people that do have this surgery, like as soon as they recovered and done, they're like, damn, I wish I did that earlier. So like me and most people probably been pushing this surgery off for years, you know, I got sports, I got school. So there was reasons I had or excuses to not do it. But uh, now that I got a full-time job um, and they allow me to take some time off, I'm gonna take advantage of that and do this for my health. But uh, I'll see you guys when I get to the airport. Uh, peace. All right. Just got done hanging out in the crew lounge. Headed to my gate, which conveniently is right behind me. Looks like they're boarding, actually. Oh, early boarding, which is always good. But I still got to go get my suitcase, which I stashed in the storage room. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Danny. Uh, we're doing uh, road guards. So we get a PT test today. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, it's just a one day drill for us. Uh, but we got selected to set up the PT test and kind of run it. So um, we're out here with these awesome vests doing our thing. Uh, actually, here they come. I don't know if you can see them. They're running down there. Yeah. Anyways. So we're doing this PT test, and then we're gonna be working on our EPS packets today, which is our promotion packets. And then promotion. that's really it, probably piss test and that's it. So see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, 
What's up, everyone? Hey, you guys want to be in it? Can we get a, can we get a team picture today? Yes. Team picture? Well, me, you, Danny, CCO, Prather. Okay, PT test is done. This is the 290 club over here. Uh, we did well today, but not as good as we wanted. Uh, but we just got some Brecky, Duncans, Tears, and now we're gonna about to go do Death by PowerPoint. And uh, Danny's over here getting a little extra PT in. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit though. All right, so we are at Chow. Um, PowerPoints are on hold, hopefully done, I don't know, but uh, I got some meatloaf, some beans, some bread. Um, skipped out on the potatoes, but yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer we're gonna be here, but we gotta insert our EPS packets and then we should be done. So that's gonna conclude the video. There's really not much to show you, so basically, I flew in Friday for drill, Friday night, got in at 11.30 p.m., uh, woke up at 5 for to set up for the PT test. Uh, we ended up finishing the day around like 2.30. I was luckily able to catch an Uber at 2.30, uh, and it got me to the airport around like 2.45, and that's when Borden started for the 3.20 flight. So I literally was like sprinting through the airport. Um, I got to the gate and they were like doing their final call for like passengers to hop on board. And I luckily got on and then there was plenty of seats on the aircraft itself. But like the timing worked out way too perfect. Um, so then I got to Boston at like six, six-ish, 6.55 now, I'm sitting in traffic. I think there's a Bruins game going on right now, of course. And uh, the Chelsea Bridge is always like a nightmare as well. So the bridge could be up, it could be down, and it could have you sitting there for like 30 minutes. So I took a detour, and it's taking me through and by the garden right now. But yeah, uh, that's that's just what drill is. It's it's not really that fun. It's not that glorious. It's you know some weekends you're shooting, you're having fun, you're out in the field, and then other weekends you're just stuck at the armory uh, doing paperwork, taking a PT test. It's it's like any job, you know, it gets old, um, but then it has its moments where you enjoy it, and uh, that's what it is. So, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, so, I know, I think I talked about, like, how I was trying to set a goal. My goal was to max my PT test, because this could be my last PT test with the Army. Um, I ended up getting a 297 out of 300, so I missed it by three points. Um, I'm not one to make excuses but there was a half marathon going on <laughs> as we were running our two mile. So as you're running, you know, there's uh, the left side is where you're running and then the right side is like kind of like where cars are like funneling by just to get home or something. So I ended up weaving in and out of traffic and people uh, just to get a half mile away. Uh, and then that's when I started clearing up a little bit and uh, my two mile run was 13 minutes, 14 seconds. And to max it, you have to run a 13 minute flat or under. So I would say I would have hit that max um, if those people weren't there, but it is what it is. Um, I did well. I, I believe I got the higher score within my section. So I'm proud of that, but it always could be better. But uh, yeah, so hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Um, like I said, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break just because I'm getting a surgery and uh, I don't really know how how well I'm, I'm gonna be or how well I'll be able to talk. I think my main focus is just gonna be trying to get food down. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I might try and record a video here to post uh, sometimes next weekend while I'm uh, recovering just to keep some content out there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.